Well, he better talk on it. But Jaden and Chase, they have met the fans, they know what really are going on. Blessings Nation, and now welcome to the channel. Your man, Jaden Chase, and another one that we're going to bring on another reasoning for the topic of music news and current affairs. So, if you're new to the channel, well, I'm suggesting that you click the subscribe icon and, of course, let your voice be heard. Like and share the video, and yes, drop a comment in the comment section. Now, let's get right into the reasoning. No Nation, Shensi has responded to the $10 million US lawsuit for the hook used on her Megan Thee Stallion feature titled Lick. Now it is still unclear if this will affect Shensia's contract with Interscope in any way as the record label is under contract and owning the masters for this song they are the ones who will eventually have to pay. Now Shensia went live to discuss the situation as much as she could remember is a a case that is now before the court so certain things cannot be discussed but she explained her part for the fans i am going to say they will continue the reasoning look at this why would we end up use a sample from somebody else's song that was done in 2006 or 5 and not and not clear the song like how does that even make sense bro like before you guys look at the bigger picture and be like yo shensi is rapping for caribbean boom bam bang our girl is doing her thing blah 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 y'all say y'all trying to say i stole somebody's song stop fucking with me stop playing with me because that's so stupid like oh and then megan is on the song why would we risk getting sued that's all I want to clear up. Now, based on Shensia's statement, it looked like greed play a major part. It seems as if the holders of the masters for the truck waited to see the response for Shensia and Megan the Stallion's truck. Well, them did think about it. Shensia, one of the hottest females out the dance at the moment, and Megan Thee Stallion is definitely one of the hottest females out of the hip-hop scene at the moment. And that can be argued, of course, people cannot talk about talent and whatever the case is, but their names are the names being mentioned when we are talking about females in their respective industries. So the holders of the master should did know that this is going to be a big truck. Now I mean, that's a good response and people can follow it up. Now I guess after seeing the streams, seeing the views, and seeing that it was definitely a track that put Shensia on her debut album in the eyes of the North American audience. It seems that they want a bigger slice of the pie. They want more money than what was already negotiated and specified within the contract. Now I guess they never sign it. And the problem of the matter now is that as long as they never sign it and she already put out the track. She in breach. Now, they might bring something to a court. Where copyright is concerned, as long as they never get the okay from the individual, they might already break that law. But the judge might consider the fact that papers were sent over and there were ne never any counter negotiations. Holders of the masters, they might call them back and say, What you know? No, we're going to want this amount of money, you know, or else you know, can't use it. Which them that did, they know. Say, all right, you know, them now nah work with that, um, that they never forgot to change the hook or something. It could have been changed. So I guess, Shensi has said, I'm such a sabotage our career. And that's said, I'm a respect vibes, Carter, in the industry. It never do no other artists this. Even when them did use Ludi, teach never do that. So I guess this is something them could didn't work out. I know right now Shensia album out. Interscope market the album. I know once they contact them and say, Watch, you know, we never did sign the papers for that track there. You know. Watch the player you now. We're not going to need to put a couple more zeros on it and then, you know, I mean, everything good. But they might choose not to do that. And they want all that 10 million US. I doubt the single generates so much money. 10 million US? No, sir. I must say 500,000 records sold gold, a million. 
Nigga go on platinum. Multi platinum. The master the track. They go the track. They go multi platinum. You talk to me in the comment section. Was this a multi platinum track? When Flo Gang and Mrs. Woman link Miley Cyrus, you have to remember, party in the USA was definitely a multi platinum track. There was never any papers sent to him. Them just use him intellectual content. Which all the copywriter got stated. And from them got do that. And that song they did generate millions in our streams. And it was just a big song overall. So in the year same get X amount of millions. You know what I mean? It's a different case entirely. There was never any dialogue created between um Billy Cyrus and the artist. In this case, she said them to reach out. And she pointed out the facts. Remember, it's a feature where them know say mega naga depan. They are invest in this feature. It's a big feature for her and then a regular feature this like how she get to that. You know what I mean? A artist we are followed up in the business. This is another stepping stone for her to enter the market she try to enter in a no. So then we do use a, a hook or a sample where them know they never get no clearance for. But because they must say them send over the paperwork, then probably now consider say yo, it never sign and send back however the case was. Seeing that she in an album mode. I remember at the moment, we can say a fair track, so and a Megan responsibility because you are going with the samples and the clearance and not like that nature. A shensi and interscope. But as I always said, they in an album mode. And then I would say, alright, after we send the paperwork, being that it's a Caribbean artist, as a Caribbean artist song, they wouldn't get no pushback. But I guess it's different when the dollars come into play. When people feel like, say, you know what I mean? Them feel get more than what was offered. And them still never tell you how much the contract is specified. You know what I mean? How much they pay if you clear the sample. You know what I mean? Can you do the same thing for, for Mercy? When they need to use the sample from Super Beetle. And I think I'm many months, maybe a year and after, you know what I mean? Super Beetle people them contact him. And it wasn't a big thing. Kanye West must cut a check. We don't hear nothing more after that. So it's strange to see that they got the last suit route. When they know them could have contact Shensi and Shensi a contact Interscope. And them could have contact Interscope directly. And all Interscope would have do is write a check. So I guess them feel like say, but it wouldn't be a $10 million US check though. I doubt that. I doubt it would be a $10 million US check. It wouldn't be that. I don't think Shensi has signed for $10 million US. So that's a bit over their investment. So I guess them decide so they can get more if them go this route. It might not work out in them favor. It might look like a style where them actually hold the papers, never send it back to the people. Make them know so you will never sign it. Then wait till the song, publish, put out the market, and then them say, what you know? We go on X amount of money. It don't look good. It don't look good. While them know say at the week of her album launch, why them want this to come out in the media the week of her album launch? Me get what she say. When you put it that way, they, I definitely get what she's saying. Look away. The thing is, though, they never signed the paper. You know what I mean? That's why some people are wonder if Interscope go want to drop her from the record deal. Well, let me, I drop her from the label. The deal already signed. But if them people are going to win the lawsuit, you know, and you know what I mean? They must say, yo, she used the sample and she never cleared the sample. It's a music thing. We don't have to give him 10 million. You know what I mean? What am I going to say now if the album no go platinum or double platinum? I'm going to want to scrutinize every other project which I got put out. So, I guess the road what they need to go is they must need to write a check. You know what I mean? They must say they want 10 mil. Interscope them heavy. Interscope can't say what you know. Now I get the 10 mil. You know how much million little we need to do? 
the universe has said, watch you know, this year again, easy yourselves. So Interscope can contact them, and so watch you know, man, not tell me that I'm run. We are you this, and at the end of that. But I don't feel like, say, yo, they must have to sabotage, I shouldn't say. They must have to put something out there, something like in the media, where could have run alongside her name, but not in promotion for her album. So instead of saying, all right, Shensia put out her debut album, the headlines are read, Shensia put out her debut album, and she never cleared the sample for one of her major features. And now they want $10 million US from her, our Interscope. More than likely, our Interscope. As I'm say, who own the masters. I'm going to know the deal she signed for all them songs she put out, at the record label own the masters for them. She'll get a percentage. You know what I mean? Talk to me in the comment section, you know the sentiments, and for those who don't, well, first and foremost, click subscribe, put it on all, share the video, like the video, comment section, I'm 24-7, never lucky yet, be respectful and mindful of the guidelines, but other than that, you know the sentiments, live love and prosper, stay tuned.